Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a water bottle handle for a wide mouth water bottle, such as a hydro flask or a camelback. I've got 25 feet of paracord. We'll only need about 15 of that. You'll need a half inch buckle and also a cord lock. Let's dive in. We'll start by making the part that goes around the neck of the water bottle. We're only going to need a couple feet for this. We've been using a different method of hanking our paracord lately. So it's really nice, you can pull on this end and it comes out without any tangles. I made a video on it, so be sure to check out the link in the description if you want to learn how to tangle free wrap your paracord. Go ahead and wrap it around two times. And then you want to leave about a foot on either end of that. Got a little bit less here, but that should be about right. Then go ahead and clip it and melt the ends. All right, so then wrap it around your water bottle. Each bottle is gonna have a different size neck. Get it where you want it and go ahead and then slide your cord lock on. Some of them are gonna have two holes. This one just has one. So we stick both ends through that one hole. There we go. Then slide that loosely into place. I'm going to back it off just a little bit and then take it off of the water bottle. We can get that out of the way. So to finish off the ends of these cords, we're going to be tying them together in a diamond knot. I'll do it here in this video. We also have another video that contains a tutorial on how to make a diamond knot in a little bit more detail. So I like to make it in my hand, putting one cord through each finger there. So this right side cord goes into a loop and then just fold it over. Get the kinks out of there. Like that. Right over the top of the other cord. And this one goes underneath, and then through the middle of that loop, like that. Now we have what's called the caric bend. And then to finish that off, I'm just going to take it off my hand. And we've got our two cords going up into that knot. This one I'm going to wrap around that cord, and then up through the middle. And then this one I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap it around this other cord, and up through the middle. And just be careful how fast you tighten that down, otherwise it's going to capsize, we call it, and not tighten properly. Kind of roll it in your fingers as you pull both ends. And that's good enough. Now we've got a little bit of loosening room to loosen our cord lock to get it around various sized water bottles. And I'll just snip the end of those cords. Now that that part's done, we can get into making the actual handle. So this is going to go around the neck of the water bottle, and the handle is going to go up above it. Uh, I'm going to put a buckle in it, but you don't have to add that step. You can just run our cobra weave from end to end. So to start off on that, we'll grab the rest of our paracord. And I'm going to cut off about 10 feet. And then line up both of those ends. So we'll be starting in the middle. And then we're first going to be attaching it to the buckle, if you're using a buckle. If you aren't using a buckle, then we're just going to be making like a cow hitch or a prusik hitch right onto our, our neck strap. So just like making a bracelet, push the fold down through and then Pull the rest of the cord through that loop. And then before we tighten it, we're going to bring the cords through our buckle one more time. Right through the middle of that. And 
and then put those down through the middle of the loop too. Looks kind of like a mess right now, but hopefully it's not a mess when I tighten it down. You can just use a normal cow hitch. I like this one because it's a little bit wider, but it'll look like that when you're done. Now to attach it to the neck of the bottle strap. It doesn't need to be super long. You want it long enough that you can push it out of the way when you're drinking out of the water bottle. But, you know, about six inches is going to be about right. Then lay it over the top of your neck strap and then run the excess through the middle. As if that was the other end of your bracelet if we were making making a bracelet. So now we're just going to weave the cobra weave back and forth along the center strands here. So we've done the cobra weave in a lot of different videos as well so I'm going to do it pretty quickly in this video um, but I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So right side over the top, left side over that one but around the back of the core and up through your loop. We're just going to be reversing that at each step. This first one, don't tighten it down super hard. We want our neck strap to be able to slide through there pretty freely. Now we did left over the top, right over that, and then underneath and through the loop. So I'm just going to keep on doing this until I get to my buckle and then I'll show you how to attach the buckle end to the next strap. All right, so we finished that end. And now we just have a small portion to connect the buckle to the next strap. So we're going to do basically the same thing. Um, it looks like I have enough cord here, about two feet. That's going to be enough to do the, the rest of it. Otherwise, you can cut some more off of your tank. So the part that I cut off should be enough to do our little portion attaching the buckle to the next strap. I've got less than two feet here, so if you've got much at all left, go ahead and use that, otherwise you can cut more off of your hank. Then we're just going to attach it to the buckle like before, down through the top, and stick your ends through that loop, and once more through the buckle, and then down again through the loop. And once that's tied down, we go like before. And really very short is sufficient. We just don't want the buckle right in the middle because if you were to hang your water bottle on something, then the pressure is right on the buckle. So fold those down through the neck strap. Get the neck strap untangled so we're not twisted around each other. And then just cobra weave as before. All right, so I was very close to running out of cord on that one, but I really could have made this portion a lot shorter than I did. So if you're running low on paracord, you can just shorten it up a little bit. I'm gonna clip those ends. All right, so now that that's all done, let's try it on for size. Slip it over the neck of your water bottle most water bottles are going to have some kind of ridge right underneath the mouth. You can pull down on the cord. And tighten the cord lock down. So there we go. Out of paracord you can make a nice handle for your water bottle. Hang it off of your backpack or carry it around easier. We'll put links to all the supplies used. So the paracord, the buckle, the cord lock down in the description to this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. 
and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.